Hi, Crazy Grandma's here. It's Christmas time. And one of the greatest struggles that I found as a mom and now as a grandma is the subject of trying to keep Christ in Christmas. With all the materialism that's going on and Santa Claus and all of the Christmas entails, keeping Christ in Christmas is always a challenge. And nowadays, I mean, they're putting out Christmas before Halloween. Yeah. So it's getting, it's getting harder and harder to help our kids and grandkids recognize the importance of Christ in Christmas. So we have found three really great resources to help you and your grandkids and your family be able to keep Christ in Christmas this season. So the first resource I'm going to talk about is actually a reverse advent calendar. And it's a cute little thing. We'll put a link right below here so that you can download it if you'd like. We thought of several ways you could do this. So with this advent calendar, it is a bunch of grocery items and you get a box, you get the grocery items at the first of the, before the first of the month and every day you have your children put them in a box that you're going to donate to a homeless shelter or a food bank or something like that. One is if you babysit your grandkids, you can do this every day with them. Second, you may have grandkids who actually live full time with you. Also a great way to remind them of serving others and what Christ did. And the third way is at the beginning of the month, you could give a box of all the stuff as the beginning of Christmas celebration with your family. You could give a box of all the things and ask your children to take it home and put it in their pantry and have their grand and have your grandkids and their kids do it. And then as an entire family an extended family, you could all take your boxes and go to one of the food banks. I love that idea. Okay. The second resource is an app and it's called just serve. So if you go and download that app, you'll find that you can go in and all you have to do is type in your city and state that you live in and it will list all of the resources available in your community to do service. Some of them are things that only come up once and as soon as it's filled, it's done. Some are ongoing things. So that is a really great resource. And the third one is something that our church um, puts out every year from Thanksgiving until Christmas, and it's called Light the World. And this one is a fun one. There's two things. One, they have an advent calendar, and it will be in the links below, which kind of gives you an idea of some sort of service that you can do every day to light the world. The second thing our church has done has, is that they have created these giving machines which are kind of like vending machines, but vending machines for service. So like you can pay for a goat in a third world country, or you can pay for a meal. There's all sorts of things. It's in this big vending machine. <clears throat> and so you can take your grandkids to one of these locations if you live in any of the locations listed below. And I can, um, but some of them are Manhattan, downtown Manhattan. One is in <clears throat> San Jose, California, <coughs> Denver, Colorado, um, Hawaii, the, oh, Philippines, the Philippines, uh, London, the, in Hyde Park. So um, check out the link below to see if there's any near you and you can take your grandkids there and buy something for somebody else. This gives you a great opportunity to talk to them about what this will mean for someone. What would even be cooler is if you could help them earn the money, whether that's through doing chores at your house or whatever, helping them earn the money and then letting them go spend their money on serving somebody else. I love all of those ideas. And any ideas that you might have, please comment below and let us know what you do to help your family keep Christ in Christmas. Have a great day and, and have, have a crazy, crazy day.